Happy 2021 fireworks effect. So today I'm gonna to get uncomfy, I'm gonna get a little bit naked, metaphorically, and ask, ask? No, you're asking. I'm gonna answer some of the questions that I would normally avoid in a standard q and I'd be looking through the submissions and be like, oh, maybe not that one. I'm gonna choose those ones. I'm gonna put my hand into the uncomfortable jar See what I feel. <laughs> so I asked you guys on Instagram. I'm feeling slightly apprehensive. I'm not the most open book on YouTube, but I'm gonna try and be. Or if I don't want to answer it, I'm just gonna answer the question, but let you know why. I don't want to tell you. I've had a glass of wine and I'm ready to, <laughs> to roll. Let's get messy. A lot of these questions are about gayness. So if you're like, oh my God, shut up about the gay. You're in the minority is what people wanted to know. They're not all gay though. We got a mix. So to kick things off, the most popular question, which has really confused me was, are you gay? Where have you been? Yes, yes, I'm gay. Did you miss the memo? Surprise, <laughs> if you missed it. I made a whole video about it, did an Instagram, go check it out. I like men. Are video conventions <laughs> massive orgies for top content creators? Well, if they are, I think they might have missed me off the invite list. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Which video earned you the most ad money in 2020? Wow, well, just jumping in there with my finances. Place your bets though, last year, which video do you think did the best for ad revenue? Ooh, that is surprising. Okay, it was trying to bake my own birthday cake without a recipe by like a landslide. How, how, why? That means some specific baking product might have been advertised on my video. Someone was like, yes, Phil is gonna, <laughs> Promote this whisk. Maybe not the whisk. The next is viewers pick my outfits too. Could have been because it was in December. Uh, ad revenue is higher there. And the third one is my Animal Crossing video. I think those did the best because they've got more of a defined theme, like baking, gaming, fashion. So when an advertiser is selling ads on videos, they're gonna put a keyword in there like frogs or baking. So then a YouTuber makes a video about that and then you make an ad baby. Yeah, tell us about your current in capital letters, dating life. Wow, those capital letters were quite aggressive, I'm scared. Right, I'm gonna answer the question, which is something I wouldn't normally do. We're getting there, but you might not be satisfied with the answer because I don't wanna open the door to my private life to millions of people because I think that door is quite a hard one to close and everyone would have an opinion and everyone would somehow feel involved in my personal life. And I like to keep that kind of thing offline and I don't think that's gonna change either, so. If you're looking for a scoop, you're gonna have to go to a different ice cream shop, sorry. <laughs> Who was your childhood celebrity gay awakening crush? I haven't really thought about that. Um, I think Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic and the beach. I just couldn't keep my eyes off him. Uh, <laughs> even if there's a sexy woman in the movie, especially the beach, I was like, nope, I'm staring at Leo just for the action. Make sure I don't wanna miss anything. I mean, you can't blame me. I think even straight guys find Leo hot. Are your videos scripted? No, my videos are not <laughs> scripted. I work so much better without a script. I might have some bullet points. Like this is one of my video scripts, for example. I sometimes do struggle if I've got to do some presenting work and I have a script. I <laughs> forget how to intonate words. And I'm like, hello and welcome. So I try and take jobs where they allow me to put things into my own words or just know the gist of what I'm meant to say and say it like I want to. Even though I can't really put a sentence together when I'm not scripted, I think it's slightly better. Least favorite pic of yourself. Every bloody photo of me on a red carpet, I hate. God, that sounded so show offy. Every photo of me on the red carpet. But no, I, 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 I hate all the photos of me. I don't want a photo on the red carpet. I always look so derpy. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. My hair will do something insane. I've never looked nice. It's mainly the hand thing. And I think it's just confidence. I don't fully hate the premiere experience. It's just that wall of cameras I find so stressful. I get such imposter syndrome. I just feel out of place. <laughs> I am trying harder. I think my last couple of suit looks have been all right, but generally don't wanna have a thousand photos taken. Do you and the original YouTubers still talk on a regular basis? The OG YouTubers, who are we talking about here? I mean, my first subscriber, John, I'll still chat to him, hang out when we're in the same place. Charlie is so cool like the original YouTuber. If I was in Toronto, I'd be sure to say hi. I think a lot of people grouped me and Dan into the big conglomeration of British YouTubers back in the day, when really I just, Hated all of them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, I think I'd see more of them as like acquaintances or colleagues, but I do feel like there is still an underlying connection with any of them. So if I do see another YouTuber at an event or something like that, it'll always be easier to talk to them than a stranger because we have this 
weird job in common, which is always a talking point. Have you ever been in a fight? No, I've never punched someone in the face, but I have been attacked. Uh, which I said very blasé, like, yeah, I've been attacked. I was about 15 and I was at a friend's house and one of the girls had to go home and she was like, can you guys walk me to the bus stop? So me and three other guys walked this girl to the bus stop. And on the way there, there was these lads obviously looking for a fight and they were like, oh, you're laughing at me. Do you say something about me? And obviously we didn't. Next thing I knew, he just punched me in the face. It was just a few punches and kicks, which no one should ever have to go through, obviously. But I know some people have had it much worse. I didn't think it affected me at the time, but it actually really did. Like for about two years, I wouldn't want to go anywhere in town after dark. I wouldn't want to go to the pub with my friends because I'd be scared people would be waiting outside for me. And I just got this big fear that I was going to get attacked, which no one should feel like in their hometown. But yeah, it was a bit rough sometimes. I think that fear just kind of went away after I went to university. Did you actually have a crush on Sarah Michelle Gellar or was it just a gay cover-up? Ooh, right, okay. I think it was partly gay cover-up because whenever I got asked by a magazine or something, who's your celebrity crush? I didn't want to just out myself to a teen magazine. Uh, so I had to have an answer, but I did find her incredibly iconic for all of the years I watched Buffy growing up. And I think you can confuse those feelings of, wow, I love this person so much they are iconic with I have a crush on them. So I think I kind of thought I had a crush, but looking back, I fancied Spike. Do you have a secret Twitter? Yes, and I'm following all of you. <laughs> no, I have a secret Instagram, but I have it for the most boring, unscandalous reasons. Sorry if you're looking for some deep tea here. <laughs> deep tea. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I use it to test drafts so people don't think I'm a boomer and I know how to post my pictures properly. Or I use it to follow reality TV stars so people don't think I'm trashy. Plot twist, I am. <laughs> if you're wondering, my favourite housewife is Sonia Morgan and my favourite yachty is Eddie. When did you lose your V card? Wow. The funny thing is, about that. I don't know if times have changed, but when I was at school, virginity seemed like such a big thing. Everyone's like, who's a virgin? But then as soon as you finish school or go to uni or whatever you do, no one ever brings it up again. No one cares who's a virgin. No one talks about it. So if you want to answer for me at university, but generally anyone watching, do not feel pressured about virginity. It's not a thing that people care about in later life. And you just do, do. Uh, <laughs> you do you until you're ready. Has anyone famous slid into your DMs? If you're talking about casual, friendly conversation, then yes, a couple. If you're talking about sliding into the DMs with a raised eyebrow, then no. <laughs> Maybe they're all just going into my spam folder and I've got thirsty celebrities on tap and I just <laughs> didn't even realize. Are you an atheist? I'm a, I don't know, is agnostic, is that the word? I don't know. I tend not to think about the bigger picture because it freaks me out too much. I'm like, what is this? How was this made? None of this makes sense. And part of me thinks this is all so crazy. Maybe there was some kind of creator, but generally I'm just kind of a wait and see what happens kind of guy. There's any gods out there listening? I love you all. Let me into heaven, guys. I'll be fun. I'll bring a board game. What shade of green is the feature wall in the new house? In my last video with Dan, we announced we're moving. There's so many boxes everywhere. Uh, yeah, the feature wall. I said we've got a green feature wall. It is this color. I've not actually seen it painted yet, so it might not match exactly this color. It's a nice, pleasing shade of green. I wanted it to look like a forest has been shoved into your eyeballs. Are you obsessed with view counts? I mean, some people are completely crazy about it. I've chatted to some YouTubers who've got their eyes like surgically attached to their YouTube analytics. I'd say I check my analytics about once a week. I kind of just use them as a marker for how well a video is done and if you guys have liked it or not. I'll be like, okay, that one did less well, but it got more likes. Or if this one got less likes and less views, I'll be like, okay, maybe we won't do that one again or I'll change it up a bit. So yeah, I don't really worry about it. I just enjoy making these. And if lots of you can watch it or watch it twice or watch it three times, then great. Watch this one twice. What is the most non-amazing Phil spawn <laughs> you've ever received? Uh, okay, when I came out as gay, I got a lot of requests for spawns because I think I went into the gay bucket then and lots of gay friendly companies were like, ooh, a new gay. Uh, <laughs> I got one, honestly, on Instagram asking me to, <laughs> to model their jock straps for an Instagram picture and a swipe up on Insta stories. And I said, yes, so that is coming next week along with my OnlyFans. No, it's, it's not. I said, no, thank you, but no. I thought I'd save everyone's eyes and declined that one. So my butt is remaining not in a spawn. 
<laughs> for now. How many times can you repeat fuzzy duck ducky fuzz? I know this is meant to make me swear, but I'm gonna do it unedited. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. So close your ears if you don't want to be offended. Right, here we go. Fuzzy duck ducky fuzz, fuzzy duck ducky fuzz, fuzzy duck ducky fuzz, ducky duck fucking dust. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying so hard. Gotta wash my mouth out with soap now. Least favorite collab video. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna throw another YouTuber under the bus unless we're talking about Dan. We threw ourselves under the bus because we filmed Easter pastel baking, I think it was called, on a day we were gonna get a flight to Australia. And I was like, it's only gonna take two hours. We'll film the video, get in the taxi. It did not work like that. The recipe failed, the camera failed, everything about that video failed and we were getting more and more stressed, like we're gonna miss the flight, the taxi's waiting outside, haven't even put it in the oven. We didn't know how to make meringues. We missed out the lemon juice. It was a complete flop. It's the worst thing we've ever baked. In hindsight, it's a hilarious video and it was still fun to film, but if you look into my eyes during that video, it's just pure panic. <laughs> I'm like, we need to get on a plane. Anyway, I'm glad we made it. It was a funny video, but maybe don't film the day you meant to fly. What is your poop shaped like? Okay. <laughs> We've either gone to a really dark place or this person's just messing around. Uh, I think this is a good point to stop answering questions. If you're wondering, they are perfect cubes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for this. I feel like I've just had a chat with a therapist or something. I've got a whole host of other ones that I didn't get around to answering. So if you want another one of these, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out my last video with Danny. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Ding the bell, give yourself a pat on the back, practice some self-care, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.